Been here since about 8 a.m. He didn't let me check in until 3 p.m. Which was fine because there's a basement downstairs where it's pretty much their lobby and I got to take a nap on the couch there. I got about four hours of sleep in me now. It's 3 p.m. Only one in my room. Check this out. I turn on the light and it makes the weirdest noise. I'm in Korea. Being in Korea is equally as difficult as being in Japan. The transit systems don't really have any English written on the Google Maps. They also seem to lack people who work the kiosk or help centers. When I fuck up, there was no one to help me fix my ticket and I had to buy another ticket. Anyway, I'm looking for a place called Namdum Market. <laughs> the market that's advertised to be open 24 hours and never closes, uh, apparently it was all closed. I did get a good meal out of it though. Uh, how I order food is, I tend to take a picture of what I want and then I show them and I point at it. Because some places don't have a menu. I guess I'm off to downtown. I'm not really sure where I am, but there's this really cool fancy spear behind me. So it's 11.50, I just bought some distressed jeans and a curved t-shirt. It was in a mall kind of setting. You can haggle in these kind of places, which is great because originally he was charging me, I think, 90,000 won and I got it down to 60. As you can see, there's stalls behind me, but it's really late and I gotta get home before the freaking train stop running. If you ever get lost, you have these tourist information booths everywhere. That's where I need to go. <laughs> I went on like a 20 minute train ride to get some street food and there was some right next to my hostel. It's occurred to me that I'm eating a lot of spicy food so my stomach might get a little upset. So I bought some bananas. Tomorrow. 12 p.m. Just filling my water bottle and then I'm gonna head out. It's a beautiful morning here in Seoul. It's actually sunny. Yesterday was actually quite cloudy. And I'm heading towards the bus station right now. No, wait, train station. I'm heading towards the train station. Cool story moment. I figured out how to get from the hostel to my train without using Google Maps. But to be completely candid, the train stops only, what, two minutes away? Just a little lost. Tourist shops, a lot of trinket shops, a lot of international food shops, and old style buildings. So I think I'm here. What's something has that many accolades? You just gotta try it, right? I think she told me to go upstairs to take pictures. I think that's what she was telling me to do. Dare I say it, this might be better than Tayaki. I think the biggest selling point about this area is that it has really old buildings that people still live in. Also, it's very hot right now. Hey, yo fam, check it out. But I'm in Korea, so why would I get Vietnamese food? They have a museum in the subway here in Korea. in that alley. Can you guys tell these are my grandma's sunglasses that she gave to me? I photobombed a 
unintentionally probably about 20 photos. I've intentionally photobombed about five. This is a giant foreigner and local place to come and take pictures and it's really cool because people come dressed in really traditional clothes. Check it. <laughs> Couple photos. They can be pretty staged. Admission to this place closed around 5 p.m. It's like 5:15, and I'm still walking around lost as all shit. Probably doesn't help that I keep stopping to take photos, but this place is so picturesque. How can you not walk around and stop and take so many photos? I mean, look at that golden hour, fellas. Made it to the exit. I'm currently taking a time lapse on this GoPro and listening to my audiobook. How to Your Own Canoe by the actor who plays Ron Swanson. Just taking in the view and relaxing and enjoying my time here in Korea. Also, get an audiobook if you plan on traveling for a long while by yourself. It really does help to pass the time. I turned a corner and I ended up at this crazy place with like all these kind of fruits and vegetables and street food. So much food here. I'm trying to make it towards the vintage clothes market. I also found out that what I passed was the food market called something in Korean, I don't remember. And I'm definitely heading back there. Upon further Google research, I have now learned that the vintage shops I was looking at is mainly catered towards women. Instead, I'm gonna head here, back at the market. Behind me is a vast assortment of Korean food. The giant group of Chinese stores just got here. So I got my go strap, chest strap, pretty much just a high tech bra on. I'm gonna walk through get a quick time lapse on my chest mount and then find a place to eat. I'm starving. I know what I want. I can't seem to find it though. This is milk with carbonation in it. Blog said I had to try it. I'm lactose intolerant and I don't drink soda, so let's see if I can enjoy this. I keep wandering around towards one destination and ending up towards another. I think I'm at the Seoul Folk Flea Market, but everything's pretty much closed here too. Yeah, it's definitely closed down here. But this wasn't where I was headed. I'm trying to get to this place but Google Maps just took me to the middle of this three mile stream. I'm on a 13 minute train ride away, so I'm just gonna walk it. But seriously, Google Maps, come on man, pick up your sh in Korea. At least it's a nice night for a walk. I'm here. I'm trying to make it here. I was walking. 20 minutes the wrong way. Finally made it where I was trying to go. I was trying to go to this plaza that has this waterfall and is at the beginning of whatever this place is. I told myself I wasn't gonna try my milk soda until I got here. Wow. This, this shouldn't be good, but it is. It's kind of like a root beer, creamy, less sugary kind of taste. Holy crap, this thing is good. This is really good. I'm gonna enjoy my soda, take in the view, relax, and then probably head home for the day.